Today we are painting a simple Blood Angels Lieutenant. This is a tabletop quality paint job, so let's get on with it. First, we base coat the armor with the contrast paint, Blood Angels Red. We are doing thin layers over our zenithal undercoats, so the paint needs to be thinly painted over the armor. Do not allow it to pool too much. Let me just apologize for the voice. I have had a cybernetic implant and unknown to me it was supposed to enlarge my manhood, but it changed my voice instead. All kidding aside, my microphone has developed a fault. It will be fixed shortly, therefore, it will be back to boring old me soon enough. Do just one armor panel at a time, this will allow better control of the paint. I used a ceramic paint tray to monitor how much paint I had on my brush, so I wouldn't cause over pooling. Do your best not to paint over any areas that are not to be red, this will make things easier later on with the other colors. Remember to keep your paint thin, don't overload your brush with paint. We want transparency on this base coat, as it will allow the shadows to remain dark and the highlights to remain bright. This is the base coat end result. We are now using the contrast paint black templar. We are painting the rubber rib joints in between the armor plates with this, as well as the gun and the aquila on the chest. Also to the rear, we will paint the backpack's exhausts, and the two intake grills. We are now using the contrast paint snakebite leather. We are painting the gun pouch on the front, and the sheath for the sword at the back. I'm sorry, my camera stopped recording and I did not know. I have done a few steps, but shall now recap them here for you. First we base coated the mini with contrast paint Blood Angels Red. Then using contrast paint Black Templar we painted all the rib joints, the aquila, the gun and the bits on the backpack. Moving on, we used Retributor armor to paint gold on the adornments, the halo above the head, the shoulder trim on the right side, and the whole shoulder pad on left, as well as some decorative parts of the sword, including the hilt. I used Screaming Skull paint to cover the right knee pad, the Purity Scrolls, and the skulls on the sword as well as the tiny one on the backpack, as well as the embossed emblem on the left shoulder pad. Snakebite Leather, we are painting the gun pouch on the front, and the sheath for the sword at the back.
I used Basilicanum Grey to paint the tablet. I used contrast paint Shish Purple to paint the purity seals and the handle of the sword. I used contrast paint high and and yellow to paint the helmet and the armor plate on the chest, as well as the coil on the gun. I painted the glass vial and the eye lenses with contrast paint warp lightning. I used pallid witch flesh to do the only highlights on this miniature, which were on the purity scrolls, and the right knee pad as well as the emblem on the left shoulder pad, also do not forget the skulls on the sword sheath. As well as the scrolls and skulls, if you wanted to take the highlights further you could use standard Mechanicus Grey to highlight the edges of the gun, as well as the ribs in between the armor plates and the wings on the Aquila. On top of this, use Dawn Yellow for the helmet, and Storm Host Silver to edge highlight the gold parts. If you want to highlight the red armor, Evil Sun Scarlet is what I would choose. This guide has been kept simple, as it is meant for beginners to achieve a tabletop standard. This is a HQ unit, so a standard marine could be simplified further, even skipping the Zenithal undercoat and going for a direct prime of Citadel's Mephiston's Red will speed this along nicely. I do hope you found this useful somewhat, this has been the Frantic Hobbyist, goodbye.